Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how I wax my brows at home. This is so easy and quick. So hopefully you guys can use this tutorial to save yourself some time and money because I'm all about that. If you can do it yourself, then you should just do it yourself because it just makes life so much easier. So if you're interested, please keep watching and please be sure that you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you get all the notifications whenever I upload. So I like to use the Gigi Microwavable Hard Wax. It's solidified when cold and then you microwave it. And I like to use the applicators that have a slanted tip. It gives you a more precise application of product. And I also think it's really important that you put your hair back because if you get wax in your hair, it is impossible to get out. <laughs> So I like to start off by brushing my brows down so that when I apply the wax above them, none of these hairs get waxed off. And then I pick up a small bead of wax and apply it on the top of my brow, well above my brow, and I follow the growth of the hair. And then I also wax above the tail as well and again apply the wax with the growth of the hair. When you rip the wax off, you rip against the growth of hair. You want to pull low and fast. Don't pull up. Keep the wax and your pull close to the skin. And then you can use whatever wax is left over to kind of pick up any excess wax that was left on the skin. So before I wax below the brow, I always brush upward and do the same thing. A small bead of wax and apply it with the growth of the hair. I also like to wax off the little scraggly hairs under the front of my brow, so I apply just a really tiny amount there because my brows do grow a little bit lower. And again, we're going to rip against the growth of hair low and fast. And then just use the excess wax to pick up anything that got left over. And the same is applied to the middle of my brows. So I apply the small bead of wax with the growth of the hair and then I'm also going to be ripping it against the growth of hair. That's how you remove all the hair. If you apply, if you rip with the growth of hair, it's not going to come off. And any hairs that didn't come up with the wax, I pluck. I usually have a couple stray ones that don't come off with the wax. And I don't like to wax twice because I find that it just kind of makes my skin a little bit irritated. So I prefer to just pluck off any stray hairs and brush through my brows once again. Then once I've brushed them up, I take a small pair of brow scissors and I trim off the little scraggly hairs that tend to grow up like weeds and can make my brows look a little bit too fluffy. And once they're all aligned, I go back in with the tweezers one more time and just kind of tweeze any leftover scragglies. And that is it for that whole routine. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's how I wax my brows at home. Like I said, it's super easy and fast. I can typically get this done in under 15 minutes and I usually do this every other Thursday. I know that this wasn't really on shaping your brows, but I would highly recommend that the first time you start to embark on a brow journey, you get them professionally done and then keep up with the maintenance and the shape of the brow after you have a professional kind of assess the best brow shape for your own face. So yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I will get back to you. Don't forget to come follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm going to have all three down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye guys.